What's up, comic creators? Peter here. Uh, so real quick, today I'm going to show you my method for exporting audio only from your iMovie app, whether it's on your iPad or your iPhone. Um, and unfortunately, iMovie does not have a function within its app to export audio only, whereas on the computer, you can export audio only. But for some reason, they didn't add that into this functionality into the app. So I use an outside resource to do that. It's real easy and you don't have to download anything. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and export your project into your uh, files in your phone. So just go ahead and export it. And then once it's added into your um, photo section of your phone, we're going to go on over to this resource that I use on the web browser on your phone, whether that's Safari or whatever you're using. So the resource that I'm using is Auphonic.com. I've made a ton of videos on them. Uh, basically, they do offer audio enhancement. I use them for all my audio enhancement projects. Um, whereas this functionality, what we're going to be just doing is using them to separate and convert your video into an MP3 file. It will add some enhancements to the audio, so it will do some. But if you do want to enhance the audio that you're working with, I have another video I did on how to do that from your device, whether it's iPad or iPhone, and that link is in the description below. You're going to want to create an account with them. So once you have your account created, you're going to go ahead and click on the productions button in the top left hand side of your screen. And then once you click productions, that's going to open up to the next page where you're going to click new production. On the next page, then you're going to be able to upload your file. So you're going to click on the uh, choose file button right there and then click on photo library and then go ahead and select the video that you just exported from iMovie. And once that starts, it'll start compressing the video and putting that into Auphonic. Now at this point, you could use this other functionality within this page to enhance the audio or make fix any bad audio that you have in your recording. But, it, but for this reason, we're just wanting to convert it into MP3. We're just going to scroll all the way to the bottom because we're not going to be doing that today. But like I said, I have a link in the description below for a complete tutorial on the functionality that I use with all the other features that this site has to offer and it does really help your audio so definitely check that out if that's what you're looking to do but once you scroll down to the bottom uh, since we're just doing this today you click start production and then that'll take you to a page where it says do you want to start it you only get about two hours of free use every month here so you just click start production and this section here could take you quite some time depending on how large your file actually is so while it's uploading to the site you can't leave the browser uh, but once it gets to this part here where now they're actually processing the audio and making the changes you can leave the browser and then once it's done it'll shoot an email over to you letting you know you can go check it out and now the audio is actually done so on this page now you actually have your completed audio uh, you can play uh, the new audio that you have and you can see the little bit of enhancement you'll have in there you can also toggle between the old audio if you wanted to listen to what it sounded like prior to you uploading it to Auphonic and what you have to do there is you click on the input section right here and then you click play again and now you can preview the older audio and you can kind of see the difference like I said you'll see a little bit of an enhancement which is pretty cool but at the top you click download and then you just click download again uh, and then while it's downloading top right hand corner the little arrow click there and you can view your uh, file so then you want to click the share button and so this is where it gets tricky because you can't actually successfully save this audio file to your, your device because um, you just won't be able to find it after it's done. So what you're going to want to create is if you don't have one, you want some sort of Google Drive or some sort of uh, file storage uh, software where you can put this into. <clears throat> that way you can access it whenever you need to. So I have Google Drive, so I threw it into my Google Drive. Um, so that way I can go in there and uh, view it once it's, in, once it's saved into Google Drive. All right, now I'm just opening Google Drive and there it is right at the top of the screen. So now I have my uh, project from iMovie that is only audio and I can do whatever I need to. I can upload it to whatever uh, service I need to uh, right from Google Drive. So that is basically how you do it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, that is the best process that I know of at this point to uh, export audio only from the iMovie app and uh, have that audio file that you need in order to upload it to any other platform you're using. And Google Drive is completely free, so that's a good thing. But guys, this video is a part of a playlist I'm doing, basically how to run your entire YouTube channel from your iPhone and iPad. I've got a ton of other videos in there, how to edit audio within the iMovie app, how to 
uh, edit videos in general in the iMovie app, and then I'm also going to do some stuff on color correcting. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. You guys are awesome. We're seeing a lot of growth, and I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. And until next time, I will catch you guys later.